This is Cliff Rohde of GoCloud Communications. Today we're going to be learning about how to get free images for your website. They say that images are worth, or pictures are worth a thousand words, and really when it comes to website development, that could not be more true. Images captivate uh, viewers, it makes them hone in on what you have, the content on your page, um, it uh, triggers their imagination. It's really a great way to go. You absolutely have to have images on your website. A big problem for a lot of people is that they don't have images though. So what do you do if you have a website but you don't have any images? Well, one thing you can do is to turn to Flickr.com to find thousands if not millions of free images that you can use on your website. Flickr.com is a Yahoo property, F-L-I-C-K-R.com, and uh, they just have tons of images. So. Let's say we're going to write a blog post about love. Well, if we're going to write about love, we're going to need images about red roses. And so we're going to go to Flickr, we're going to enter that search bar, and we're going to search everyone's pictures for red, red roses. And you can see that if you do that search, there sure are a lot of pictures. In fact, almost 404,000 of them about red, red roses. But here's a problem you really cannot in good conscience use all of those 404,000 images. The reason being that the photographers or authors have not allowed us to do that. We can go ahead and look, on them, look at them on Flickr, but maybe we can't use them. How can we find the pictures that we can use? Well, what we do is go to the advanced search function under Flickr. And we're going to go down. These are a lot of limitations you can put on your search to drill down to what we really need and we're going to come all the way down to this Creative Commons license section and click only those photographs that have a Creative Commons license. It's a licensing regime that uh, creators of content can use. It's open source. It's really terrific. I suggest you check it out. We want to find only those images that we can use commercially and that we can tweak. We can modify or adapt. So let's do the search now. And, lo and behold, it is no longer 400,000 photos, it's only about 10,000. Well, you know what? For red roses, 10,000 is still a pretty, uh, pretty good number of roses that we can, or pictures of roses that we can take a look at. Let's look at this one from Paparuzzi. That looks nice. Um, it opens up. We'll get a nice close-up image of it. Terrific looking picture. You can see Paparuzzi is the author up here. And it looks like, as we look down, that other people have already used this image on their websites. That's okay. Or maybe it's not. Maybe you want a picture that's never been used. You just got to continue through your search to find one if that's the case. Let's look at the rights that they've reserved. If we look at the licensing information, Creative Commons, oh, we can share it, remix it, make commercial use of it, which we want to do on our website, as long as we give attribution back to the author. Well, great. We have found an image and we know we can use it, but how do we use it? Well, we got to go back to the image itself. And right above the image, there is a little menu bar under Share. What we can do is grab this code. Just tell your web developer, here's the code, uh, or the, where to find the code, um, and they'll be able to use this information to plug it right into your website. All sorts of different sizes, if you choose a different size. Uh, the code itself is going to change. What you're probably going to do is tell your web developer, here's the URL, um, go grab that photo and put it into my website. And they will. So, what have we learned today? Number one uh, is there are thousands of valuable, nice looking pictures available at the Flickr website that are free to use um, for commercial work and you can tweak them if you want to. Um, but as long as you give attribution back to the author. And honestly, isn't that the fair way to go about it? Thanks so much. This is Cliff Rohde of Goat Cloud Communications. I hope you found this video useful. Enjoy your images. Hi, I'm Cliff Rohde of Goat Cloud Communications. Hope you liked the video. We have more tips available on our website, goatcloud.com, on our YouTube channel. Enjoy!